We're going to talk about deploying DeepL for enterprise use within Lilt, and we're also going to do a demo of the DeepL integration. Here's how you can leverage Lilt to maximize the use cases for DeepL. So DeepL fundamentally is really just translation. And I don't say that easily. They have a very good translation model. And what they have is both a consumer and an enterprise product. In the consumer product, you have an app where you can send photos and have translations. On the enterprise side, they have an API, which allows you to send information in, specify the language you want it translated to, and the locale if they have that, and have it returned to you in that language. In addition to that, they have some other things as well, like glossaries, which we were able to send. And I'll show you how you can manage those glossaries within Lilt. Where I think things get really interesting is when you think about that AI model in the context of Lilt as a whole, we have a full stack workflow solution where you can send in a file through the connector, we can do the pre-processing, we can do the AI translation, then we can have humans translate. And then finally, we can have post-processing and send it back via connector. So with DeepL, in this instance, we can kind of swap out the AI, our AI for DeepL's AI. And that allows us to do things like instant translate, where you can put text into the fields in Lilt, get a short form comprehension response. So just quick understanding of what's being translated. You can also do large volume through our APIs or connectors. In addition to this, because of our cat tool and our human linguists, you can do things like actual translation. So DeepL would do a first pass translation and then humans can either do translation or post editing. And they can even potentially do some trans creation where they are modifying the original meaning to make it match the new context. In addition to just having translators, we also have reviewers and we have customer reviewers and we enable things like post-processing and desktop publishing through our connectors.